Hi. Okay, so I have not posted in almost five months, I think. <gasps> wow, I suck. I'm sorry. So I recorded a video the first day I got out of school, which was June 6th. And it was like a long ass video. I was editing it for the longest, but I wasn't feeling it. Like I had to edit it so much for it to be interesting because I didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't know what to talk about. Like it was just really bad, but it was an eye look and it was pretty nice. So insert it here, maybe. Um, today was my last day of summer school. It's June 29th right now. Look at my thaki fingers. Um, but yeah, it's June 29th and I am so happy I got my final grades today, A plus and A, A <laughs> hype me up. And honestly, truthfully, I want to do my makeup. And I've been wanting to for the past couple of days. But then I'm like, oh, I'll do it right now, I'll do it right now. And then I never ended up doing it. And <coughs> God bless me. Um, and today I actually have the time. It's 5.30 right now. It gets dark in like an hour. Not in like two hours. So I posted on my Instagram, my spam account, go follow it. I posted comments and random words to get for me to get inspiration to like do any eye look, you know? And I got a bunch, but one that stood out to me was Aries. Now I am really into astrology, like I love astrology. I think I'm gonna talk about my chart somewhere in oh, sorry, in this video. Here's my chart or here. Lotta, where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so that's my chart. And I am in love with my chart. So, I'm going to take off my makeup. Because you can't do make your makeup unless you have a clean face. <laughs> so. so, I did my eyebrows this morning. But I wasn't feeling them like at all. So, I'm going to take these bitches off too. I am scared to clean these type of brushes because, like, if you pull it too hard to get all the, like, what's it called, the, if you pull it too hard to get all of the product out, you could pull the hair thingies and, like, mess up your brush, and that's why I'm, like, scared of it, but I gotta get all the product out. I don't think I've actually properly cleaned this brush ever yes it's nasty but i need a new one because this one is too soft and my eyebrows are too non-existent to take soft brushes you know so i think i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then be back so hi <laughs> okay it 6:40 now. Like when I left, it was like 6:50, and then I got a little bit busy. But I did my eyebrows, and um, now we're gonna get into the eye look. I'm gonna prime my eyes, but like not really prime. And wait, actually, I have a shadow primer. Okay, so I used a primer here just because I didn't want to look all like pore-ish and stuff. I used um a really. I used a really old Milani primer and an NYC or NYX or NYX, whatever primer. Okay, so here um, I'm gonna be using to prime my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Milani uh, eyeshadow primer. That's literally what it's called. Even though we used that, I still am just used to priming with my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm still gonna do that you can see me okay I changed my mind with my inspiration I want to do Leo and I found this palette and I think it's very Leo-y you know a lot of bold colors and um, and I think I could make something work I don't know what I have in mind yet but we'll see I'm gonna talk about my chart. Okay, so I am a Leo Sun, 
So my personality overall is very outgoing. I love attention. I'm not gonna lie, I love attention. A lot of the people that are my friends, a lot of my friends know that. Actually, everybody knows that. So yeah, I love attention. I'm very outgoing. I um love to do like what's that word? Um, risky things. Like I I don't know. Like I I'm a sucker for like dares and shit. But I have a Pisces moon, and that moon is very like okay. Your moons are your emotions, you know. So my Pisces moon is a water sign and it makes me a really emotional person. It makes me very intuitive, intuitive, intuitive. And honestly, like, I don't doubt it because a lot of my friends, like, will do something and I'll be like, don't do it. But do they ever listen? No. Yeah, I'm very intuitive. I can feel someone's vibe without them even, like, talking to me. Like... If they're talking to somebody else, I'll pick up on their body language and mannerisms and everything. And I'll notice stuff about that person that probably somebody else hasn't. Okay, anyway. I have a, um... I have a Leo Venus. And your Venus would be your love sign. So, as a Leo Venus, I determine love off of affection and stuff. So... I need attention to feel loved, if that makes any sense. Yes, I'm pretty needy. Um, I am a very loyal person. Never have I ever once cheated. I think cheating is so stupid, so selfish. Been through it a couple times, you know. Ha! <laughs> Love getting cheated on. But, yeah. Okay, um, what else? I have an Aquarius Ascendant. So your ascendant is pretty much like your mask or the way that you react to situations, the way that other people see you when they first meet you, stuff like that. So as an Aquarius, people might see me as a very humanitarian person, a person that is, loves to help and um, also is pretty stubborn because Aquarius are really stubborn. They're air signs and shit, girl. They're everywhere. All air signs, in my opinion, or I think in general, like, they're just so everywhere. The air signs would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And they're very, like, complicated to understand sometimes. It, especially if they have a water, a water moon. Because moons, water moons are also everywhere being water signs, you know. Okay, this one isn't coming out as good as this one. Okay, a lot of people... A lot of people always ask me about, like, their charts and stuff. And, like, they'll send me their chart. But... Okay, I'm gonna do this eye separately because it's really getting on my nerves, so I had to take it off. But okay, everybody always asks me about their chart, like they'll send it to me and stuff. But it's really difficult to explain it to people that don't understand the concept of like astrology and stuff. Because I try to explain to them like what's what their houses mean, like there's like if they have any stelliums, like what stelliums are. Yeah, I try to explain it, and a lot of people are still confused, and it's kind of like, but. Um, I don't know, I kind of want to make a video, like, astrology based, but I don't know if you guys would want to see that. I don't think you would, because a lot of the people I know aren't really into astrology, and it's kind of sad. Like, I wish I had a friend that was, like, really into astrology, just like me. It'd be great, but, like, <laughs> we can't all have what we want. Is that, I'll, yeah, that's exactly All right, but enough about astrology. I want to talk about something else. I don't know what to talk about, but I'm just going to talk about something else. I really, really want to get a septum ring and, like, dye my hair, but I don't know. I really want to dye my hair blue. Is that weird? I don't care. I really want to dye my hair blue, but, like, not, like, bleach and dye because I've heard that when you have blue hair and, and then, like, it washes out, it looks green, and I don't want to have green hair. I have to blend that shit out. And I miss my Helix. I used to have a Helix and then I got infected. <laughs> Sad story. But I really want a something ring or just like a nose ring in general. My mom won't let me. I'm gonna convince her. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it happen. I just get so bored with myself and I'm always trying to do something new with myself, but I never actually get around to it. I got bangs in September. That that was 
Oh god, that was bad. Honestly, can I just say, I am jealous of every girl who has big eyelids. I have hooded eyelids and I can't do eyeshadows on my eye and it look good, you know? It's not okay. And for the girls that have hooded eyelids and can make it work, I honestly look up to you. Like, you are a, an amazing, talented queen and I wish I was you. Finally, a song I like. The other ones I like, but they were very like upbeat and that's that makes me sound really depressed. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot. I don't know what I'm going for. It's not gonna look good. I'm guessing. That's my prediction that it's not gonna look good. Um but hey, you'll never know if you never try. I love this song. Wait for it. There you go. Okay, honestly, I know I'm gonna fuck this up, but like, I'm I'm going for the Leo vibe. So, girl, pray for me. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on the other eye, and then I'm gonna come back. One eternity later. Okay, so the lighting isn't the greatest, and I didn't have any falsies, and I forgot. Also, ignore these earrings. I like them, but they don't fit everything. This is the final look. I might just take some pictures and put it here. Um, this is my Leo-inspired look. I just feel like it's very Leo, red and sparkly and dramatic, and yeah. Um. I, this wasn't a very interesting video. I just wanted to show and put this out there. So please like, comment, subscribe. That was so cringy, but um, comment down below ideas for next videos because honestly, like I just have a lot of writer's block or like video block. I don't know. I don't know what to record or what to like put out there. So if you have any ideas and you want to see something new then let me know and i will do it so bye